Hola, Ruben. Buenos dias. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for taking the time for this interview. Hello, good morning, and thanks for you for this opportunity. So today we're going to talk about um, a very interesting use case you developed for a customer of yours that it's making an equipment smarter, right? So um, what we are going to talk about is the Portenta machine control. So a fully centralized, low power industrial control unit able to drive equipment and machinery. Okay, this thing can be programmed using the Arduino framework or other embedded development platform. But first, can you tell us something about Engaplik and your final customer? Yeah, sure. Uh, our customer was looking for a solution to start digitalizing all the warehouse and the workshop. Uh, in this case, the customer wants to start with a proof of concept. So we suggest to start with an air compressor. In this case, we choose Arduino Pro in order to sensor the data. In this case, the temperature, vibration, energy consumption, and the pressure of the air compressor. We also use uh, AWS as a cloud storage solution and Grafana to visualize all the graphs and all the data in real time. And in this case, if we try to use a more um, a standard industry solution, uh, we would have needed to add way more model, uh, communication models and input and output models. Uh, in this case, the Arduino Pro, the DIN rail solution that offers in the same hardware, uh, make us uh, minimize the footprint of the solution. So in this case, the fact that the, the Arduino machine control has in the same hardware, all the communication as a Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP, the thermocouple readers are analog and input uh, models. It makes it way easier for us to integrate in an industrial solution without having to modify the current uh, air compressor. So let me let me better understand why the Portenta machine control. You had many PLC solutions, right? So why did you choose this one? Yeah, we chose this one because it has in the same hardware, in the same uh, in the minimizing the the footprint and in a really cost effective uh, way. We have all the connectivity we need. We even also use the Wi-Fi connectivity in order to avoid having to use a really long cable to connect with the with the gateway. Uh, and we also wanted a future-proof um, solution capable of performing uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, functions such as uh, min predictive maintenance for the future. Okay, so predictive maintenance and edge computing, basically, because you're doing it all mm -hmm. locally. Okay, how, how did you find it to, to work with the Portenda machine control? We, um, it was not the first time we were working with Arduino machine control, but even if it would have been the first one, the, all the libraries and all the systems that are available from Arduino uh, makes the integration really easy. So in this case, it was really easy and fast to integrate all the, in this case, the Modbus TCP, all the readings from the, sensors was really easy to, to integrate. Okay, Ruben, and um, how did your customer perceive the solution? What was the, the final outcome? From the customer side, it was a complete success. Uh, they're really happy with the end solution. They have been able to reduce the machine downtime of uh, the air compressor and all the surroundings, all the machinery they have that they uses the air. And they have also been able, thanks to all the data and all the information now they have, they have been able to optimize the, the energy consumption. So at the end is a cost reduction from the energy side. And also they have been able to reschedule all the maintenance intervention. So they have been able to reduce globally all the costs of the air compression or the costs associated to the air compression. That's great to hear. So you also showed me some very nice looking dashboards that provide all of the relevant information in a very convenient way. How did you do those? Uh, these graphs, they are made by Grafana. We use all the connection between Arduino, AWS and Grafana, and we use them to show all the relevant information such as power consumption, vibration, and also allow you to create some alerts uh, in case you can send some uh, SMS or emails to the person in charge. You can even personalize these uh, dashboards in order that depends on the person and the charge of the, the position of this person. Uh, you can visualize one on another dashboard uh, depending on what is more relevant for you. Anything else you wanted to add, Ruben? 
Uh, just to sum up the the case study in this case the, the proof of concept was so successfully that we are we are about to launch a plug and play solution with Arduino and and AWS in order to monitor uh, this type of air compressor. So I think uh, many customers, like many small and medium uh, industry enterprises, may be interested in this kind of, of solution. Oh, I'm sure they will. So thank you very much. Have a good day. See you soon. Thank you to you. See you soon. Thank you.